this one I want to talk about uh, gradients, horrible nasty gradients and getting rid of them. Uh, and what I've got here is the Dumbbell Nebula and I've gone through all the stages so you can see what the finished result is. It still needs quite a bit of work but basically um, it's a lot better than it started off with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close off all the layers that I've been working on to get to that point which leaves us with just the background the original one and you can see here there's the dumbbell nebula nasty gradient right up here at the top uh, and we want to get rid of it so the first thing that we're going to want to do is to protect our stars so to do that uh, what we need to do is go up to select but before I'm going to do that I'm just going to I'm going to get rid of everything up here I'm just going to delete everything so we can start fresh just got a background layer, okay? So what I'm going to do now with the background layer is protect the stars first. So to do that, we go to select color range, and in the color range box, the fuzziness is set to 103 sampled colors. Is selected localized color cluster is off. Selection is on selection, and the selection preview is at none. You could use the quick mask as I did in the first tutorial, but I'm not going to use that for this one. Uh, I'm just going to stick with the none there. And using the first eyedropper, and zooming in a little bit, we select our first star. Then we use the second eyedropper, and we select a few more stars. Now, the more you can select, especially the coloured ones, you see here you get more stars coming up. Sometimes that happens if you get if you get too much and it messes up. Just go back again, select color range, and start again. Try that again. There. And the second eye dropper. And just a couple more. Just be careful when you do this that you don't get too many. You'll notice I am selecting the nebula here, but we're going to say OK. nebula has been selected in the middle. I don't want that, so I'm going to select the lasso tool and press down the alt key. And a little minus sign comes up next to the lasso tool. Just go right around the nebula and deselect it. Um, if you press the shift key, uh, it will select it again. So alt and shift to select and deselect on that one. Good, right, now we're going to go to select and we're going to go to modify and we're going to expand our selection by 3 pixels and say OK then we're going to go to select modify again and we're going to feather that selection by 3 pixels and say OK so that's our stars selected and our nebula not selected so what we're going to do now is create a layer for our stars so we go to layer, new, layer via copy, and up here that creates our new layer, which if I click off the bottom one you can see there are stars. Okay, so that's good, we've created a star layer to protect our stars. Now we want to create a layer to get rid of this gradient. So we're going to go back to the background copy, and with our eyedropper tool, up here, going to have to select the dark area and the greyish area down here. So first of all we click on the darkest area up here. Done. Then we press the Alt key and we go down to the lighter area here and we press that. Done. This sets the foreground and the background colours for our um, gradient tool. That done, with that selected, we now go over here to the little icon next to the bin and create a new layer. And then we go over here and we select the gradient tool. Gradient tool selected, we go up here and we select the gradient which is uh, this one. Second one from the end which is uh, foreground to background. Foreground to transparent, that's the one. Uh, jolly good. So we're working on layer 2 now. And we move from the bottom 
appear on your layers, on your star layers, don't forget that you can, if you want to, go to layer, um, layer mask, and you can add a hide all layer. And then you can come back here and swap the foreground and background to white and black in front. Get your paintbrush, um, up the brush size quite considerably, say. stars like that and you can also boost the colours of the stars etc until you're happy with what you've got. So we started off with a nasty gradient, we added the gradient layer and put in the stars uh, and that's a lot better than it was to start off with. But if you follow through the other tutorials that I've done um, up to this point, uh, all of this should make a lot more sense to you. The next one I'll do will deal with um, the inverted layer mask and getting rid of gradients that way. And after that, that's pretty much it that I can think of for now. So I probably won't do any more tutorials just for a while until I discover any new methods. But those are pretty much the the ones that I'm 